y'all. Welcome to another episode of Dear Kadria Sophia, where I scour the internet and I look for situations so that I can offer my unsolicited opinion. You guys, I'm like the best scourer ever. I sound, I, I, I mean, there's so much, there was so much scandal around Trump, but there was a lot of things going on. But one of the awful things he did was he forced himself upon a journalist and she does, she did advice columns. E. Jean Carroll, E period, J-E-A-N-C-A-R-R-O-L-L. This is very interesting. So she did advice columns for Grip. Um, I didn't go too much into it because I just really wanted to know like what kind of advice column she gave. But because it's no longer present tense, <coughs> I don't have to go into archives and kind of stuff like that. But she does have a website. And she still doles out advice. I, I believe she wrote a book. She talks about the Trump situation. <coughs> so, here we go. The headline for this is Mr. Ideal is dead. Oh! That's right up my alley for several reasons. One, dealing with the dead. Uh, so it could be a glorious thing. It, it, Mr. Ideal is dead. That means you have access to him at all times. Um, or Mr. Ideal is dead. Like, you need to change your perspective. I'm, I'm intrigued, and so we shall continue. Dear Kadria Sophia, I know exactly what Mr. Ideal looks like right down to his hair color. I used to wonder if that was a good thing. And now I'm just like, I'm d I do it. I dream of my Mr. Right all the time. My, my, my ideal guy, I do, I personally do it. Um, not his features, but like his attributes, our interactions, stuff like that. That's what I, that's what I dream about. I know everyone has his outstanding qualities characteristics and values oh every one of his i know that when he comes along i'll instantly recognize him and our relationship will be passionate and magical so much for what i know let's talk about real life no don't stay in what you know i've met a wonderful guy he's cute as heck i think he's the one but he's definitely not what I had envisioned as my ideal man. To complicate matters, I'm 39, single, want to marry and have a baby more than anything. And my biological clock is tick, tick, ticking. I thought you were going to say something like, you want kids. I'm okay, it's your biological clock. Okay. My quandary. Love that word. I'm worried that if I marry him, my, my Mr. Ideal will come along and I'll be tied to the wrong man. Sign, it's crunch time. First of all, there's this thing is divorce. Their sister gets divorced. Okay? Uh, you marry Mr. Cute as Heck. Mr. Wonderful Cute as Heck. Okay? And have a happy life. Get married. Uh, have children, hopefully. Um, I want to have marry. Have, yep, that's what she wants. So do those things. Do those things. Okay? And be extremely happy all the while. And if, if the man of your dreams, Mr. Ideal, comes along while you're married to Mr. Wonderful Cute as Heck, um, divorce him. Divorce him. And I mean, you should tell him. You should tell him. Now, listen. There's a man in my dreams that I know, that I know will come along in my life. And if we get married and I meet this man... 10 years into our marriage. I'm letting you know right now. I'm going to leave you and these kids. I'm going to leave you with the kids and go for my Mr. Ideal. You tell him that up front and he can decide whether he wants, you know, a woman who will abandon him and the children. Uh, and you move forward from there. You move forward from there. Okay? And um, I think that's the only way to do it. Because if you wait for Mr. Ideal, um, you'll get what you want. It'll just be extremely different, you know? It, it may have some differences that you can't appreciate right now. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, and, and also, just relax on your, your room. 
just, you know, hold hold your womb at night and just be thankful and grateful and love her on up. You know, uh, drink all the drinks that encourage her and, and treat her sweetly. Um, do all the things, you know, that you can find that heal wounds and and nourish wounds and hug wounds. Do all the things, right, um, simultaneously. Marry Mr. Wonderful. And, well, first of all, I just love how people jump ahead. Did he even... It, it, did, hold on. Let's see. Uh, I met a wonderful guy. He's cute. I definitely think he's the one. Uh, she has not even told us if this wonderful, cute guy is just she's marrying her and having children with her. Oh, jeez. I mean, they could be, you know, the way things are right now, like, they could be on the third date and she's right now. You know what I mean? Oh, I like him. And if this goes any further, then uh, exactly what I don't want will happen. That's how we be messing up our own abundance. We be skipping ahead <laughs> to the negative component of it. So that's what you do, crunch time. Just relax, love on your uterus, uh, marry Mr. Wonderful Cute right now, and then leave him for Mr. Ideal. All right, y'all. Oh, man, this one this one was so quick. I forgot to ask you guys to subscribe. Subscribe. You know what? Let's, let's Since this one's so quick, let's throw another one in there. Let's throw another one in there. Okay, so now that we're going to do another one, you guys, if you are enjoying the content that I am providing, then I would appreciate you subscribing to this channel. I would appreciate you liking the videos that you like. And, you know, I don't want to solicit any comments. So, you know, all the all comments have to be unsolicited to keep in scene with. But you can definitely share. I can solicit that. Nobody, nobody said anything about unsolicited sharing. So share away. I'm soliciting the sharing. Share away. Subscribe, like, share, and I cannot solicit your comment. Am I winking or am I blinking with one eye? More than one eye. <laughs> I don't know. But is that a thing about COVID? When you have COVID, you don't know how to blink. All right. So we're going to do another uh, E-Gene. A Gene. A Gene Carol. Okay, and this one is titled, Just Your Typical Ask E. Jean Question. Dear Kadria Sophia, a hi, I am a male, whatever that means. Oh, it's going to be one of those. It's going to be one of those, you guys. And I don't seem to fit in. Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay. See, I keep skipping ahead. I'm not particularly attracted to males. <laughs> And I'm not particularly attracted to women. Well, we can tell you who you favor. Because you just said males and women. This is the first time ever that I have encountered someone using male uh, for, for men and women instead of females. We're in a new day. The tides have changed. We're here. Suck it up. Enjoy it, you guys. Except for, obviously, nobody is immune to your charms. <laughs> it's attractive to me. Except for you, obviously, nobody's immune to your charms. Thanks, dear. I'm really only attracted to people attracted to me. I know that's right. I know that's right. By the people attracted to you. Okay, let's keep going. I don't want to be the pursuer in a relationship, but I'm also not submissive. Yeah. I just want to be pursued. I'm attracted to attraction. Me Two, I love uh, being adored. I've, I've experienced it before, and it's, it's everything you ever dreamed of and more. I love it. I love it. It's almost like unless someone pursues me, I'm not interested. But if they pursue me, expecting me to be submissive, they won't be interested when they find out I'm not. Oh, conundrum, a rising conundrum. Rising conundrum, rising. I'm not half bad to look at. I know that's right. So it's not like nobody's interested in pursuing me, but it's almost as if it's as if someone pursues me, they won't be interested. 
And if I have to pursue them, then I won't be interested. Does this mean nobody is really interested in me? Is this a thing? This just got, this got ridiculously complicated. I mean, the first part of this, he's act. I'm done. Is this a thing? And then he has the, my wife and I are just not a good fit. I, you know what? Oh boy, you you really, you really suckered me on this one, buddy, buddy boy. My wife and I are just not a good fit. She'd like me to be more submissive, and we just end up butting heads. Have you heard of this before? What am I, and is there some way out of this? I attract a lot of male attention, but I don't know what to do with it. Thanks for your help. If anyone can solve this, you can. Sign Mano Amano. Oh, well, first of all, thank you for your faith in me. I really appreciate that. Um, she'd like me to be more submissive. <laughs> you know, the petty person in me wanted to give you the advice that women have been getting for millennia, which is you should just be more submissive. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Um... This is something that I think is something you can adjust in yourself. Hold on. Okay. So if all we're talking about is one thing, if, if we just talk about one thing, and I mean it's, 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 it's a thirsty thing, then I think you and your wife can go to couples counseling. And figure this out. I think that it is perfectly okay to uh, to make an effort to fit where you are. Because it sounds like before you move forward, you need to figure out some things. You need to make some adjustments in your own self. Because if you're misfiring, like if you, if you, because what it sounds like, you looking for people who are not looking for you. And that's something you need to adjust. And and you can adjust it with your wife. Um, and even if it doesn't work out between you and your wife, I think couples therapy will be productive for you all because you may find that there's like a collection of things that can be addressed that result in the submissive requirement being resolved. That is a possible thing. You can all, you also can find out, you know, she can find out if she sincerely wants you to be submissive and you can find out, you know, genuinely what your desires are. When you start addressing your concerns with one another uh, in front of someone that uh, doesn't have a bias towards anything but healthy, happy relationships, okay? Um, so I think that's what you all need to do first and foremost is couples therapy. Yeah, couples therapy. Look, we, we even got time for one more. Hold on, let's see if we can do one more. You know what? I, I don't think we have time for one more because if we do one more, then it might be, you know, too long. And I think 15 minutes is good. I think it's pretty good. All right, y'all. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Dear Kadria Sophia. I will see you next Wednesday. Until then, much success to us all.